Well, I guess you've come for a tour then. Let's have a look round. Most important part of the job. We're going away without your kettle. <laughs> we have quite a lot of mod cons on this, this fairly modern boat. Because we do two, we, sometimes we do two days at sea, so one as much comfort as we can get. So obviously, do you all reckon a fridge? No, in it though? No. <laughs> Normal fridge, four house cooker. Uh, we, can, we can cook ourselves some meals at the end of the day when we're doing a few days. So uh, this is one of our uh, accommodations, our bunk rooms. So this side of, of, of um, the boat, is we have three in this side. But there's been a catamaran, we have two separate accommodations because obviously there's two, there's two hulls. A few people have asked one thing or another, so I was going to run through a bit of the uh, technology we have aboard. So these two, these two screens, is, it's, um, it's our charts. If you don't know what charts are, they're just uh, maps, maps of the uh, the seabed and obstructions. This is one of the systems we use. It's an OLX, so I can zoom this right in and see from Brad. I can zoom that right into Whittington, where we are. Which is there in the harbour. You can see where the uh, yacht boys are in when they put them in. And it gives you all the different depths. Some boats will come up if they've got what they call AIS, which is uh, like an automatic identification system. So they start they start popping up on screen. It shows you where they are. As you can see, you can see the D-class lifeboat at the moment. This is our radar for picking up. Um, you, can see you, can, you can see it picking up picking up the harbour now with a tricky run, and that's the land in the red. Obviously, when we're at sea away from land, boats come up as the as like red dots, and some of them will come up with the AIS on if they have it fitted. And then over to this one, it's exact, more or less exactly the same copy as that. It's just a different system we use. This is the uh, Max C system. So as you're coming in, we can um, put marks on wherever you are. That's why all the marks and one thing or another are. We can put what we like on. It's also where we track our gear. So put lines in, track, track, track where our pots are and one thing or another, so it's, it's permanent record on here, you know exactly where they are when you want to get to them. Then we have CCTV system for the engine rooms, mainly I can flick between, because we have two engine rooms on this part, so I can flick between each engine room, it just gives me a visual if anything's going wrong. VHF radio, that's, you call Coast Guard, you call each other, the different channels, call other boats, speak to them. Uh, this one at the moment isn't turned on, but that's the autopilot. So once you've set your course manually, you can you can press a button on there and it'll steer that course to keep the boat heading in the uh, right direction. So this is the sounder. This this, this gives us the uh, depth to the bottom, and also it'll fi it'll pick up fish marks and marks in the water. Mainly we mainly in our job we're using it for for depth. And also, this runs into the uh, one of the chart systems, the Olex, and I can actually map the seabed, and it gives me how hard it is and how soft the ground is, and one thing or another. So it's a pretty good bit of kit. So this is our other uh, accommodation room. This is the one with two bunks in. There's the other side. There was a bunk along the bottom, but this one is more for storage. So we've got spare parts things break at sea so we try and mend as much as we can before we uh, before we have to abandon the trip and come in. This is our main switchboard distribution board because we do have two 40 boards for the cooker and that so everything sort of runs into this. As you can see on the walls that's all our AIS systems, uh, autopilot, radar um, and then they all just run up to a, a, a computer screen and then you can't see but around this corner it's, it's the computers for the chart systems you just like like small PCs that you have at home, like just on the size of your laptop. And the CCTV, it all runs, everything runs into here where there's a brain to do whatever it needs to do. Uh, yeah, so you've had a look in here, so now I'll go show you where the magic happens. <laughs> so we're we eating first. Right then. Uh, as you saw on one of the other videos that you might have seen down on the thing, this is the pot hauler. And we used to power line in and that's what retrieves the pots from the bottom. Uh, there'll be some more videos coming up so you'll you'll see this used very often. 
nearly all of us in this port were all um, shellfish, we're all working pots, so everybody has one of these. Uh, this is, these are a little bit more modern, this is what we call a roller system now. Uh, before you used to have to lift every pot over the rail every time it come up, but now with these roller systems the pot comes all the way up onto the table and then it slides along, gets emptied, gets rebated, as you see on some of the videos, gets stowed on the deck. Time you got a whole fleet aboard, and then you turn round, and then you just lay that fleet back out wherever you require it. Uh, all these yellow pipes, all the way around the outside, um, we can run seawater through these. So we can re run seawater into the boxes where our catch are, just keep some fresh, um, keep some nice and well, obviously keeps them alive, but it keeps them in an optimum condition. Uh, sometimes we, certain times of year, some of the bigger boats, they'll do it all, all the time, the ones that have uh, what they call a Vivia tank in them. So in the hull, they have they have a tank that's full of water. So usually, maybe you might see something like this, uh, and what they use, they use it for nicking the claws. So you can, you can open the claws up, and they like nick the tendon in between the claws, so they can't, they can't fight anymore, so when they go in the tanks, you can't fight basically. So certain times you now and again we use it, but some of the boats that are uh, uh, purpose Vivia tanks, we don't have tanks in this hull. Um, they're using them all the time. They're nicking, in, they're nicking into the tank all the time. Right, so um, we live in a catamaran. We have two engine rooms also. So this is one of the engine rooms. So um, this is your main engine. In the back of there, there's fuel tanks, exhaust system. This is the uh, 240 generator. And then we also have a fire extinguisher system which is automatic. If we have a fire in here, it just shoot the vents and it'll pull fire out first to have enough oxygen. Um, the red engine is the um, 240 which runs all the cookers, heating and uh, most important thing, the kettle. This is, this is our other engine room. A little bit more room in here. We only have the one engine here, we don't need a generator, we only needed one generator, so that was the other side. Uh, so again, main engine, tank at the back was another fuel tank. Uh, we held about, between both tanks we held about 3,200 litres of fuel, which uh, um, usually burn five days, we'll maybe burn about 2,000, 2,500 litres. Uh, the hauler on the top that we showed you, the, Run the rope line in to pull our pots in uh, underneath this cover here. That's the pump that runs it. So this engine's also the main engine, but it also runs the hydraulic system as well, uh, which you can't see it's underneath this cover. But um, then also that that the big pipe there. That was the ones I showed you on the deck. All the uh, yellow hoses that come out the uh, rail to keep the catch alive. So that run that runs a pump. That's where the seawater comes from. So also what this engine is. Uh, powered as well. Right, you've had a right good look round my boat now, get your scent off. <laughs>